Hello! Welcome to my uh, auto switch system tutorial. This was highly requested, so I'm doing it. But uh, you might want to know that I am not very good at talking, because I mumble a lot. Uh, but hopefully you should just see from the screen basically what I'm doing if you can't understand me. And also I have not scripted this, so there is probably going to be some uh, stuttering and it's going to be not planned out basically you're going to tell that I haven't planned it out so once you've made a new park with a new coaster you want to go to coaster properties change the style to whatever you like uh, mode should be scripted and whatever else you like uh, trains set up how you like colors set up how you like scripts we're going to come to in a bit but first you need to sort out some file stuff so uh, we'll do that now so what you want to do is go to computer and this is on Windows 7 by the way if you have another version then sorry but I have Windows 7 so then go to program files go down to no limits 2 parks scroll down to script park and copy this file which is block script should be a um, just sort of script, I guess. Then go to your documents. Go to this com dot no limits coaster dot no limits two. And this is me being OCD and sorting my things into files. Uh, then you want to go into your folder of your new park and paste it in. And that's that sorted. Right now you can close all that go back to coast properties scripts <coughs> add and then it should be there now what I do here I've not tested it without but I like to copy the directory and just paste it in there and then put it back I, I don't know that might just be me you might not have to do that I just like doing it to make me feel better and that is the script sorted out so what that script does is mean that you'll have two stations <coughs> an unload station and a load station a break room before the station a lift hill and a break room well block I suppose after the station then a switch track uh, then a another switch track well transfer track actually it might work with switch but I, I don't I've not tried that and it might not and then a block section and uh, two storage tracks yeah I was remembering that off the top of my head so sorry if you got bored you can always skip ahead if you feel like I'm taking too long uh, so I'm just going to start building the coaster I will probably just cut all of this out actually and then come back once I've made the basic layout with all the names showing you what's done because watching me build this will be boring so uh... yeah I'll see you in however long it takes me to do this right and I've changed my mind about making a new coaster instead I've just loaded up flip around forest which is my second one using this system because all I actually need to do is show you the segments uh, and what to call them. So, loading station, which is this, you want to call station enter, and these have to be exact. Uh, at least I think so. Uh, at least the same lettering and spaces. Maybe not capitals, but you may as well. Uh, any wait time, any transport device, and any, any other settings, just the name. Over here we've got the lift hill, which has to be called lift, and that can have any settings you like as well. Then you have your track, whatever, this can be any length. And then uh, this comes up into a um, switch track. Now here's where it's going to be a bit hard to explain. The default track has to be 1, so it always has to go in uh, 
through track one, like mode one. Yeah, uh, it can be anything here, uh, and it needs to be called reverse one switch. Can have any switch time, but yeah, it it needs to start on default track one. That's a point I need to make clear, which I think I've done. So that's good. This needs to be called this. <laughs> First, the IR change break. Um, don't know why they called it that, but that's that's uh, what it's called. So you just have to call it that. Uh, any settings except you need to have launch uh, enabled to any speed and acceleration, and you want to make sure you put middle car on that, uh, and then you dive down. <laughs> well. You might not dive down on your track, but dives down into this bit of track, and I put mine on a tilt just because it's funny and unique. But you just need a transfer track with at least two uh, tracks, and this needs to also start on track one. Any distance and it's called reverse to switch and again any sw any switch time uh, here are the two storage tracks they are called storage 1 and storage 2 um, and then the block break here it's called trim before reverse 2 that is a trim so it doesn't actually need to be there uh, as you can see trim break so that's not necessary. Uh, if it doesn't work though, just put that in and check. Just because I'm not 100% sure, but you know. Uh, <laughs> right. And then it comes up. This track can again be as long as you want. And then you've got the block section before the station called before station. Once again, any settings you like. And then station exit and that should be unloading although pretty sure it doesn't actually matter but it should be unloading and that I believe is the tutorial so um yeah I think the key part is getting the um scripts in and then sorting out the blocks that is pretty much all there is to it uh, quick note, this lift, just because it's called lift, does not mean it has to be a lift. It can be a block section before a launch, or just a block section before anything. But you do need all of these blocks that I've listed in these orders. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So uh, thanks for watching, hope it works. If it doesn't, comment if you're having problems and I will probably reply uh, so yeah thanks for watching